It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. It is your feel good breakfast show, Expresso on S3, and we're about to celebrate moments that matter with wow worthy centerpieces that taste as good as they look. And just like every other year, Woolies's, well, in fact, they are creating showstoppers. And Chef Clem, he is here to show us how to make a fig and apple stuffed free range duck that is definitely going to be a showstopper on your table this festive. Chef Clem. I like how you say I'm going to show you how to make it. Uh, Chef Clem's going to show you how to make it. Woolworths is going to show you how to make it because they make it easy. They make it so they easy. They make it easy. And they have absolutely gone, as they do every year, Woolies owns the festive season. Thank with you. They're amazing, amazing products. So they've done all the hard work for you. They have. They've come up with the most amazing savory and sweet centerpieces. It's so easy. It's so easy. So let's just talk about what we're going to do there. We're going to make this beautiful apple and fig duck roast. And you know it's going to be so labor intensive. We're going to have to cut open the packet. Cut open the packet, and then just actually maybe. Like, should I do it? Should I? Should I do please, it? Please. Okay. Please. So we're going to. And then it goes into oh. the oven, and then it's so. Intense. Oh my goodness. It is so. Perfect. I can do it with my eyes closed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the beautiful fig and apple stuffed duck, it's free range, which we absolutely love. And I think it's a perfect size for entertaining, especially if you're doing like four people for, for Christmas day. I was about to ask, how many people would this feed? So, so they normally say one duck per two people, but I'm like, it's Christmas day. You've got a lot of other things going you're gonna on. Have, okay. So if this is not the only, you know, main source of protein, by all means, no. this is enough for four people. Yes. And then it comes with a beautiful savory toffee sauce as well, which I absolutely love. The flavors of this duck are it's so beautiful. It's I've had it twice now before Christmas. <laughs> it is honestly so delicious. So okay. I've got this. I just take it out of its packaging. Take it out of the plastic, out of, of its packet, and then using the actual dish that it comes in, pop that into the oven. Done. Done. Okay, Done. So let's talk about the next one. So you've got to have a beautiful fish side as well. And the salmon lattice, the Norwegian salmon with the pastry lattice, is just so, so beautiful. It, it just makes your Christmas table look so amazing. So quick question, when it comes to the sauce, because I see inside this one, inside our um, Norwegian salmon, mm -hmm. there's also a little pouch of some kind of a sauce. Do you put that on before or after? You put that on... Oh, on after. The fish is so fresh, it's jumping out the packet. <laughs> you put that on after. But there's also one thing I want to show you, and I hope that the viewers can see this at home. Can you see the beautiful shimmer, the gold shimmer on the pastry? I can see that. Because it's Christmas. Oh my goodness, it's, it's going to sparkle even on your food. There we go. So your, your, your sauce definitely goes on afterwards. And literally... Your, your glaze. Your, done. Okay. Yeah, your glaze goes on afterwards. The next one is our duck. Um, which is also roasted beautifully. Like I said, it's got that beautiful toffee sauce, which is a savory toffee sauce. It is so, so... Look at that duck. So what I would do is I take the beautiful sauce that renders out from it and pop that in the jug and you've got extra gravy. Oh. Done. So, I mean, it's so simple. And you I just wanna... use little micro herbs and boom, you have a showstopper. You have a showstopper. Willie's also have the hazelnut and chocolate wreath, oh. which is so... Delicious. My favorite thing is like going through catalogs and like I want that, I, I want that, that too. I want that. So Chef Claim, I need to ask you for your yes. help because I obviously don't have my stove and oven yet. We had it removed and we're still waiting for it to be replaced. Uh, I'm hosting Christmas. Mm -hmm. We're going to be four people. It's my mom and dad and my aunt. And I want to know what can I make that will not require an oven? What have you got? I have got an instant pot. I've got an electric air fryer. Uh, I've got an air fryer, electric pan frying thing. Yes. That, that, oh, yes. Yeah. The square one. The square one. Hey. And then I've got an air fryer. You and I've got like a normal little camper gas. Pot. You're sorted. Also, when you see that square frying pan come out, you know something that you know is about to happen. The potatoes are going to be excellent. Oh, okay, so let's talk about it. You can be, honestly, you can do this duck in the air fryer. Okay. You can do your salmon in the air fryer. So you've got a little gas cooker, so you can pop your gammon in. Wait, no, don't even cook your gammon. Go to Willie's, get the ready cooked gammon. Oh, fabulous. There we go. Put the glaze over it, put that in your air fryer, and you're sorted. If you wanted to do it from scratch, you could still actually do it in your Instapot and then pop it into your air fryer to get just that to nice get glaze. crispiness. Yeah, I wouldn't stress about desserts. I mean, I would literally just do the pavlova on the front cover. Oh, 
It's all done for you. So you just get the Willie's lemon curd, get the pavlova, which is done for you. Layer it, fresh berries, you are sorted. There's no reason why you can't pull off an amazing, amazing Christmas. Um, I know you don't eat seafood because you're allergic, but maybe your guests do. So you get your big frying pan we spoke about, get the prawns in there oh. and get the Asian glaze from Willie's. Pop that into your frying pan, give it a good toss, extra garlic, extra chili. You're gonna pull off an amazing Christmas without an oven and a stove. And I think that's an inspiration for our viewers at home as well. You don't need like state-of-the-art kitchen appliances because Woolies have done it all for you. They have. So, I mean, for someone like myself that doesn't currently have a stove or an oven, I can still have this delicious duck that is stuffed at, at my table. At your table. And everybody's gonna think that you're an absolute master chef and you pulled it all off. How did she even do it? She doesn't even have an oven and stuff. Magic. Magic, magic. And then at least I can say I've cooked it. Yes, absolutely, yeah. because I mean, that is the final bit. I mean, you, Willis does all the hard work for you. You just come in and you add the love at the end, which I think is so amazing. I love Christmas. that you say that. You it just is. add the love at the end. Now, we have some show pieces here, yes. some center pieces, and we actually have some time to dream about what else we can add okay. to our table. So another one that I love, especially if you don't want to be spending too much time in the kitchen, is their beautiful cheese tower. Oh. Can they see? Oh, look at Can you go. see that? The we cheese tower is morning. amazing. And it's another festive way to present your cheese board. Stack them up, and just literally some nuts and some preserves, and you're sorted, okay? That's my favorite. We are definitely doing that. Also, it keeps your guests, like, occupied while you're busy doing other things. Mm. Everybody loves a cheese board. Okay, spoke about the pavlova. Honestly, the pavlova is such a magical little... It's, it's, it's beautiful. When you walk in, you see it, it's amazing. The last thing you do is add your ice cream to the top just to make it look a bit festive. Right. And maybe drizzle a little bit of honey or some of the preserved sauce. Absolutely. There's our beautiful salmon, which we, we've already made, which is done. It is so beautiful. You have to have to try it. Uh, what else would we like? We love all the roasts. Guys, I'm obsessed with actually going through this catalog. The gammons are in there and later on this week we're actually gonna do the cascading milk tart Ooh. cake live okay. on the show. That's amazing. That's another one. Can we cut into this? I you feel like to? we need to see what our duck looks like. Chef Clem, you're gonna be in charge of that and I'll taste. Okay, cool. Use my little <laughs> tongs here. Okay, so have you cut the strings off? I'm gonna go through it. I promise you I will not give you any string. Yo, that's like a chef no-no, right? No, absolutely. So that's another thing. When it comes out of the oven, make sure you take the string off before you carve. I just know exactly where it is, so I'm not going to give you any string. Okay. They haven't given you a fork. It's okay. I can use my finger. I know what to do. Okay. <laughs> a sasati. There we go. A little duck sasati for you. Thank you. Thank you very much with my micro herbs. Mmm. Juicy so and tender. Juicy. I love that, that glaze. Oh, what's what's Graham, going on? Graham, come and join us. <laughs> what's happening here? Oh my goodness. Zoe, oh. Zoe made a duck from scratch. Wow, Zoe. Yeah, I, I, I made it with my eyes closed. This is like a coming of age for you, Zozo, <laughs> hey? There we go, okay, G. I'm growing so up, G. So what's the vibe here? What am I gonna taste? Explain to me. Okay, so it's good. duck mm. with an apple and fig glaze. Get and out. stuffing. And it's got a beautiful, savory, toffee glaze at the end. Wow. Because you maybe have you to... just feed your it's guests. It's so with... succulent. Maybe this is quite you... a nice idea. The, you get your Christmas say, skewer. Your Christmas skewer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one way to like limit the amount of food everyone eats. It does make you think like you're eating less. <laughs> I promise you. Right. Because... Two of these. And wow, yeah, that's mentally, delicious. After My you... goodness, How Zoe. Tender. Wow. Hey. Oh, thank you. I'll take credit for that. Thank you, Woolworths. That's. It's so soft, it's like butter. It is, and duck is quite tricky because often people overcook what? it, it's mm -hmm. up dry. This is so delicious and juicy. <laughs> look at you, look at you. He wants more. Chef Clem, final tips for okay. the festive. Mm. Anything you can do the day before, do it. When it comes to the actual day, you need to be relaxed, you need to be like stress-free. So do as much as you can the day before. On the day, move your guests out of the kitchen. Set up your drinking station away from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Set up your cheese platters away from the kitchen. Get them out the kitchen because it's going to become hot on the day. Mm -hmm. So you own the kitchen, get them to just be happy and away from the kitchen. Talk Wh to me. What's the first thing that should enter their mouth when they come into your house? Should it be a drink, an appetizer, an eggnog, a sweet treat? What, what do you... A nice chilled welcome drink. It doesn't have to be alcoholic. Anything nice and chilled. Let's get them to have that drink and then already have a few snacks sorted out. Away, away from, from the, the kitchen. Give them that drink, let them be happy. There and we you go. Can, you can send them a skewer send as part of their invite. A skewer, skewer of Guys, duck. 
absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Zoe, you make a good day. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, G-Man. Well, listen, if you want to be inspired, head on over to Woolworths. You can shop all of these delicious meals and centerpieces and also make sure you pick up a booklet to be inspired. Chef Clem, thank you for that. Thank you very much. Here we go.